So in this video, I'm going to be doing a rapid sequence induction on my patient. So prior to surgery, my patient has been pre-oxygenating now for probably about five minutes. So while he's just getting about another minute or so, um, I'm just going to kind of make sure that I have everything that I need together. So I have his chart here and I'm just going to look at it and make sure um, physical exam was okay, everything was normal and just look back at his blood work and his blood work looks okay everything looks normal we have a signed authorization from the owner for surgery and uh, everything's good to go on that so now what I'm going to do is just check his induction agent so we're going to be using propofol 10 milligrams per milliliter at a dose of 4 milligrams per kilogram so for his weight yeah he was 29 kilograms we draw up uh, 11.6 mLs of the propofol, which we'll be giving to effect. So I have my propofol here, and I'm just going to check to make sure that I do have the correct amount drawn up in the syringe. So it's good. And now I'm just going to remove any air bubbles that might be in there. All right. So now that that's all set, we're probably ready to go ahead and I'm just going to flush his catheter. I'm just going to check the patency of this catheter just to make sure I don't see any kind of swelling and it is okay. And I'm going to give a minimum of about two mLs and everything looks okay. I don't see any kind of swelling and our catheter our uh, sterile saline solution has been diluted with heparin, about 5 units per 1 ml of sterile saline solution. So now that is okay. I'm just going to remove this over here. And now we will be ready to give him his induction agent. So my assistant's just going to go ahead and hold him. here and so I'm just going to put it in his catheter and I'm going to give it very slowly. I'm going to give about a, a quarter to a half. I'm going to give it slowly but I don't want to give it too slowly. We just want to get him through the second stage of anesthesia which is the excitatory phase. And I'm just going to cut it. Yeah, so I'm going to give him a little bit more. And we don't want to give it too fast either because it can cause apnea. I'm just going to go ahead and give him the rest here. And I'm just going to flush his catheter. And I have confirmed that I have all of my items that I needed beforehand. I have my endotracheal tubes that I have checked for leaks. Just going to check his jaw tone. All right, I'm going to get my gauze. I have my endotracheal tube here with just a little bit of sterile lubricant on the end. So now I'm just going to visualize. I'm going to push a soft palate up with the tube. And the epiglottis down. Okay, I'm going to have her hold that. I'm going to get my tie. And I can feel a breath coming through the tube. We're just going to tie that. So 
so I can feel the breath and I can see the tube is fogging up, which confirms that we have placed the tube. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hook them up to oxygen. And then what I'm going to do now is just take a heart rate. So his heart rate is 90, so that's okay. So now what we're gonna do is just gonna inflate his cuff. So I'm gonna my doctor go around. I'm gonna put my uh, tube here, and she's just gonna check, and I'm going to slowly inflate as she pushes the bag to about 20 centimeters of water. I'm gonna listen for any kind of leaks and inflate as I need to. And we should hear a small leak at uh, when she goes over 20 centimeters. Okay, and I'm good, I don't hear any leaks. So now that we are finished with that, I've removed my syringe and our patient is ready for surgery.